What's up, Star Family? My name is Marissa. If you've been following me for a while, you probably know two things. You know, one, that I love me a good-ass metaphor, and you know, two, that I love to run. And running has taught me so much over the past maybe 15 years that I've been actively running. Yeah, that sounds about right. So, one thing that came up the other day on one of my runs was how <laughs> there's been times where I have passed dudes on these trails and you know your girl is feeling so good especially as a female passing guys on the trails you know when they're in front of you and you're going the same direction there is some level of satisfaction that I just got to be real about it is a real thing and I just can't help but be like dirt off my motherfucking shoulder you know what I mean but <laughs> I digress yet again and then there have also been times where people have passed me even though that is a rarity <laughs> just kidding kind of um, so that's not the point of the video the point of it is the fact that like I feel as a sensitive as a highly sensitive and a highly intuitive person someone that can really feel even the subtleties even the small things like about people's you know reactions and I, I we just feel things as intuitive empaths right we feel everything so one thing that I notice is there can be this level of like disappointment when when you pass someone on a trail or like you know you can feel them a level of disappointment when you're passing them and it's like I see how this can be related to every aspect of our lives it's like especially in this day and age of social media it's almost like we like we get down on ourselves so easily about what other people are doing when there's so many factors that we fail to consider. It's like you don't know how long the person you you are passing has been on the trails before. For all you know, they're running a freaking half marathon and you're just in mile number one, right? So you're all juiced up. Uh, we don't know like how many, how long they've been training for. We don't know what they're training for. We don't know why they got out there. We don't know what kind of injuries they're working with, what kind of limitations they're working with. And the, the same is true for when we get past. Like we, we don't understand like how long someone's been training. We don't understand what kind of pre-workout they're using, if they're using any pre-workout. We don't know like did they see a freaking coyote back there and they just like don't want to be eaten and so your ass is going to eat get eaten. Like we don't know how long someone's been running. They could be running their entire lives, right? And so this is just like one of those things, one of those perspective tweaks that can just allow us to enjoy our lives more because truly, I don't know who said it, but they were so right. And we would like, I want to, I want to invite this person out for lunch. Comparison is the thief of joy. They're probably not still alive, but if you guys watch my astral relationship video, then we're, we're having lunch today. So comparison is the thief of joy. And, and it's so interesting, it's so hard. It can be challenging in this day and age of social media where it's like this insatiable hunger for numbers and for up-leveling and just for like seeking and confirming our levels of value or lack thereof from things external, right? And so that's what the human experience, that's what divinity incarnate really represents. It's like navigating the human experience with as much joy and as much ease as possible. And so the more that we are comparing ourselves and the more that we are like considering factors or honestly, for the most part, it's like we're not considering a lot of factors that could be weighed into how we're viewing someone else's performance or their productivity. You don't know how many lifetimes they spent doing that. You don't know what their exact blueprints are. You don't know what activations they're going through. You don't know why you're stuck in a situation or why you're in this disempowered state or why you're not able to just break past your own barriers of limitation. Spirit might want you in those veils and in those levels of disempowerment and feeling disempowered for a reason. That might be a big part. There's something in there that you're supposed to learn about the psyche of humanity and, and how to get through it in order to help serve your gifts to the planet even better. We don't know from this level. And so if you really wanna enjoy your life to the fullest during the ebbs and the flows because you really can, then it is so important to remove your sense of value from anything external, anything external, even other people, especially other people. It's like you have no idea and you don't actually know what they're truly feeling on the inside. I've talked about this before. I've taught classes in front of 
hundreds of people, 400 people is probably the biggest class I've ever taught. I've done speeches before. I've done, you know, Toastmasters. I have done online workouts where it's like lights, camera, action, all this pressure, all coffee, caffeine, everything at once. Freaking my adrenals exploding from the amount of adrenaline. And I've had people be like, wow, you're so confident. Wow, you are not nervous at all. And I'm like, wow, like I'm really happy I appear that way. But on the inside, your girl is blacked out. I don't even, where am I? I don't even know where we are. What, what year is it? You know, like you don't actually know what someone's internal experience is. And so in my wise, wise old age of 28, I really am seeing that I would much rather go after the state of being that someone exudes than like what it looks like on the outside. So like if someone is engaging in, in running and just not being able to embody their power and not being able to appreciate how far they've come already and what it takes to actually be in the race in the first place and being engaging in the journey and, and doing things that are hard and doing things that expand you beyond yourself. Like if you are so wrapped up in other people's performance that you aren't actually enjoying it or if you're just like doing it for the wrong reasons so for like the results or what you think you're gonna get from it you're probably not gonna enjoy it and it's like I would much rather enjoy it regardless of how I'm perceived on you know from the outside in because it's like I know I'm engaging in things for the right reasons and when I say right I just mean the things that are in alignment for my soul the true definition of sin is to go against the self to go against your own self and what is truthful and right for you, right? And so you're the only one that can kind of gauge that or judge that. So this was just a long way and maybe a messy way to reiterate the fact that it's like at the end of the day, you don't know what someone's reason is for being on the field or on the, the trails, right? You don't know what the what they're working with, what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are. You don't know what someone else's limitations are, whatever. But just realize that you are engaging in that race and the journey for the same reason. And that's just expansion. That's just to unveil a stronger version of you. That's just to experience yourself holistically stronger, holistically better, right? It's that, that seeking of evolution. But it's like you, after a while, you really do start to crave the run and, and crave the journey of growth because of how it makes you feel on the inside, right? I I gave up running for results a long time ago and it's so funny because when I was running for results, I was a lot less likely to continue my running program. But the more that I would switch it and see like, wow, I feel better, I eat better, I have more levels of energy, I'm more patient with my daughter, I'm just more sharp holistically. I'm more clear. I'm not carrying a bunch of shit. I'm releasing a lot. As an intuitive empath, I can tend to soak up everyone around me and I clear that shit, right? It's like when you're engaging with things for the right reasons, it's gonna feel, you're gonna feel a certain way. It's gonna, it's gonna feel holistic and you're much more likely to stick with it, right? And it's kind of like we're all, it's just remembering that we're all going back to the same place at the end of the day. Right, we all just have different pathways and different expressions, ways to express it, and that's just the beauty of it, the myriad of the entire experience. And yeah, we can enjoy it all. We don't have to compare it to anyone or anything, and I actually implore you not to, you know, because that's gonna rob your joy, especially, you know, if you're thinking you're better than someone else, just remember that's setting you up to be in the race where someone else is gonna be better than you, rather than understanding that you are in your own lane, right? You make your own lane. And so it's like no one else can fit in it because it's your own. It was just made for you and you're making it as you progress, as you put one foot in front of the other. I mean, that's the kind of competition I want is like no competition. <laughs> and if any, there's any competition, it's just like being more compassionate and more graceful and more loving and more understanding and closer to the realms of like the Buddha nature and Christ consciousness than I was the day before, right? That's all it comes down to. So anyways, I'm gonna wrap that up here. If you guys have TikTok or Instagram, you can follow me at mary.po.ssa. So that's mariposa, that's Marissa, um, all in one. Uh, the butterfly, mariposa, transformation, you know. Uh, and I'm being extra, I have no idea what's gone into me. Uh, so yeah, follow me there if you want to connect. I respond to everyone that slides into my DMs, mostly, don't be weird. 
and I, you guys know that I love connecting with you in the comment section. So yeah, we'll connect very soon, Star Family. Much love.